Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss the important topic, yet difficult topic, that is proto oncogenes. Now, I will be discussing two pro important proto oncogenes in this session, that is RAS and ABL BCR. You may get a long question in your university exam, then you have to write both of them, or else sometimes you may get a short question on one of them. So you have to write that portion only. So let's start proto oncogenes. <laughs> So here you can see we are starting an important topic that is proto-oncogenes in which I am going to discuss two important proto-oncogenes RAS gene and ABL-BCR gene. So first of all I will let you know the various genetic regulators of the cancer proto-oncogene is one of them. So first I will let you know the various genetic molecular mechanism of cancer why cancer occur at genetic level I will explain you in the most easiest way. Then I will let you know one of the important genetic regulator is proto-oncogene. What is proto-oncogene and how many proto-oncogenes are there? I will let you know the classification. From this classification, we will take two ultra important proto-oncogene and see their details. So first I will let you know the details of the RAS gene and then I will let you know the ABL-BCR gene. So as I told you, if you are getting a long question, you have to write everything about that. Okay, and if you are going to get a short question in your university exam, you will get question either on RAS or ABL-BCR. ABL-BCR is more frequently asked in university exams. So let's start it. Let's start with the genetic regulators of the cancer. How many genetic regulators of the cancer? There are four type of genes that causes cancer. Because of mutation of these four genes, the cancer can occur. What is the name of these genes? Number one, proto-oncogene. Number two, tumor suppressor gene, also known as anti-oncogene. Number three, apoptosis regulating gene. And number four, DNA repair gene. So we will be discussing out of these four, the first one in this session. Let me explain you the meaning of all four here. Let me explain first the meaning of all four. And then we will be starting the first one that is proto-oncogene. Okay, now please see this diagram, everyone. Now please see this is a normal cell. Both of these cells shown to you on this diagram. These are normal cells. What do you mean by normal cell? See the first cell. In this cell, the growth factor is coming, binding with the growth receptor. If the growth factor is coming and binding with the growth receptor, then the cell is doing the mitosis and dividing into two cells from one cell. So out of one cell, the two cells are formed if growth factor is coming then only. Otherwise, it is not formed. Okay, you can say the mitosis is under physiological control. See the other cell. In the other cell here, the growth factor is absent. You can see the stimulus is absent. The growth factor is absent. So this cell is not undergoing mitosis. So you can see the two cells, normal cell. Both of them are normal cells. So in human body from head to toe, wherever mitosis is required, the stimulus will come. The stimulus is the growth factor. So first the stimulus, the growth factor will come, bind with the growth receptor, give the signal, then only mitosis can occur. Otherwise mitosis cannot occur you can say the cell division is under control, under control of physiological stimulus. So whenever physiological stimulus is coming, then only cell division is taking place. Otherwise, when physiological stimulus is absent, cell division do not take place. This is normal cell. Now, how, when the growth factor is coming and binding with the growth receptor, this cell come to know that I have to do the cell division. And when the growth factor is absent, how the cell come to know that I don't have to perform the cell division because of genes. Let's talk at genetic level, okay, in terms of genes. So see again here, when growth factor is coming and binding with the growth receptor, there is a gene inside the cell. The name of that gene is proto-oncogene that will get stimulated. So as soon as the stimulus is coming and binding with the growth receptor, it will give a signal and because of that signal, the gene proto-oncogene will get stimulated and this proto-oncogene causing the mitosis. See the other diagram here when growth factor is absent, I mean the stimulus is absent. So here when in absence of stimulus, another gene gets stimulated. The name of that gene is tumor suppressor gene and that tumor suppressor gene is inhibiting the mitosis. So have you ever tried, let me give you a simple example to understand this. Listen, have you ever tried driving a car or driving any vehicle? I guess every one of you, right? So you tell me what we do when we want to increase the speed of the car. You see, ma'am, it's very simple. We apply accelerator. Whenever we apply the accelerator, the speed of the car is increased. So can I say proto-oncogene is the accelerator? Because it is increasing the rate of the mitosis. It is increasing the rate of the cell division. It is like the accelerator of the car. You can say yes, right? In the same way, you tell me what, what we do in a car when we want to stop the car or when we want to reduce the speed of the car. So when we want to reduce the speed or the stop the car, of course, we apply. 